Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do empties and stuff that I have decluttered from my collection and need to close the balcony door because my neighbors are loud AF. So let me close that door and we can get back and get into the empties. Oh and if you haven't been here before, hello my name is Angie, I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful things like this look right here. It might already be live on Instagram, but I will leave a link to all the things that I have on my face in case you are interested. But if you want to see some more color in your timeline, if you want to see some more beauty content on your timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five days a week. Okay, I closed the door to the neighbors and I put the fan on so that the cats do not die. <laughs> It's very hot in Sweden. I have all my empties in this little pixie bag. I honestly don't 100% remember what I have in this one, which can be fun, I guess. I don't know. Where am I supposed to put this? In my lamp? I'll put it here. These are going to be things that I have gone through, that I have used up, and I'm going to let you know my, like, final. <laughs> this is my absolute final review of them. And there's also going to be some things, I think, in here that I have decluttered. Um, and I'm just going to let you know why. There's going to be some skincare, some hair care, and quite a lot of makeup items in here. I will say there will be no deodorant, toothpaste, or what else do people put in? Like shower gel? Mainly because I don't care. I don't care what shower gel you're using. When people say like, oh, I went through seven shower gels, it's like, oh great, so you have your basic hygiene down good for you. And also because the things that I can buy here in Sweden, you can't get in, in your part of the world because these are the things that are very different between different like parts of the world. So I don't feel like it's that interesting. At least according to me, you're gonna have to let me know if you disagree, but I don't think you want to hear about what shower gels I've been using that you just can't get a hold of anyways. The first thing that I've gone through, and this one, I used the last bit of this one yesterday. So this is actually what prompted me to film this, because I was like, wait, this is out now? Maybe I should film that empties. This is the Caudalie Vino Pure uh, Purifying Gel Cleanser. This I used as a second cleanse. There is nothing left in this one. It had it had a bit of an almost eucalyptus uh, scent to it. I do like Caudalie uh, skincare. I think it's really good. I like the other... They have another scent that's more like a green, like grape vine kind of a scent, and that scent is beautiful. This one doesn't have that. I didn't like this scent as much as I like the other one. I feel like this is okay, but it's not my favorite second cleanse, so I will not be repurchasing this. I got this at Look Fantastic. I actually got this for... I think it was for a sponsored video with Look Fantastic. I liked it. It was decent, but I thought I was going to like it more than I did. I do like a gel cleanser, though, but... Uh, I will not be repurchasing that one. Right now I am using the gel cleanser from Good Molecules. I like that one too, but same here. I like it, but I'm not going to repurchase. It's not my favorite. I also went through my Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is the uh, original one, the blue. It is empty. This one smells clean. I know this one got a lot of crap. Like every skincare influencer crapped on this product. When like skincare videos started booming here on YouTube, everyone crapped on this product, the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask, because it was like, oh my God, it's perfume in it. This works wonders for me. This is a beautiful gel-like uh, moisturizing overnight mask that dries into your skin so you won't have tacky skin. I hate having too creamy or fatty skin when I'm trying to sleep because I sleep with my face down into my pillow and I don't want to be greasy. I also have three pets so when I'm greasy my cats will pet... Like my cats and our dog will sleep in the bed with us. They're very cute, but I can't have cat hairs sticking to a greasy skin. Like, I can't do that. So this one has been great for me. I wake up, my skin feels moisturized and plump. Even though it wasn't that, like, oily or greasy throughout the night, I like this one a lot. I think that this one was a great product. I know it's perfumed. If you have very sensitive skin, maybe this isn't for you, but I had no problem with it. I have a lot of skincare that I'm trying to go through, so I will not be repurchasing at this point. But if I had nothing to replace this with, I would probably repurchase, because for me, it works really good. And, yeah, that's my... Not so humble opinion. This is my favorite dry shampoo. This is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresher. I really like the Batiste dry shampoo. I personally have tried quite a few different ones. And for me, I haven't found anything that is as good as this. <sighs> my cat is on the balcony. Uh, there are probably 
a bunch of like brands that make better dry shampoo I'm sure of it, but for this in this price range, I haven't found anything better. If you have a favorite dry shampoo, I am open for suggestions. I would love to hear about it. Um, I uh, just haven't found anything at, at that like lower price point that is as good as the Batiste one. I use dry shampoo. Like sometimes my hair is literally a third dry shampoo. <laughs> If I take my hair tie out of my hair, it's still a messy button. That's the level of dry shampoo my hair is sometimes, but I just hate having wet hair, so I try to not wash my hair more than once or twice a week. This is the Swarshkov Osis. Is it Osis or Osis? Uh, uh, Os? I don't know. This is the Extreme Hold Hairspray. This is all out. I use this one to uh, tease my hair with and I use this one to set in my extensions. This is not all my real hair. I do have extensions in. I love wearing extensions. I have clip-in extensions and it's super hold hairspray like this one. It's really good when you're teasing your hair to not have to over tease your hair because this um, really makes it easy to have a clip-in extension get stuck in your hair. That's how I feel. Here's another skincare thing. Oh, there's a lot of makeup now. We're coming into a lot of makeup. This is the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Clean Rinse Cleansing Balm. I miss this one. I'm using one now from Emma Hardy. Oh, wait. This one had a lid and for some reason I put the lid back in. Oh, I put the spatula in here as well. This one just smells clean. This was a great cleansing balm. This is so great. The only reason why I didn't repurchase, first of all, it's expensive. But this is the same like the Laneige mask. If I didn't have a replacement here at home that I could use, I would have repurchased this. And if I can ever get a coupon, like 20% off skincare or something, I will repurchase this because I actually like this so much better than all the other cleansing balms I've used. It's, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I, I really like it on the skin. I know it's so expensive, um, but it's efficient, super efficient, and it doesn't irritate my skin or my eyes, and it doesn't include any of the plastics, but it's also easy to rinse off. Love this one as a first cleanse. It's been really good. Uh, oh, this is my, oh my god, this has been in here for so long, it's, it's dusty. This is the Bondi Sand Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. This is my favorite self tanner. This is the self tanner I use all the time. This is the second bottle I've gone through. I'm using my third bottle right now. I use this once a week. I leave it on for one to two hours and then I take a shower and I feel like it gives an even nice tan that is not too orange and doesn't look streaky or weird. And I like that it's a, an express one because, yeah, it's it's just so beautiful. Like I said, I already have repurchased this. This is my... I have repurchased it twice now and I bought it myself. There are plenty of places you can buy it. Um, I will link some things down. I will try and link a couple of my favorites, like the things that I recommend. I will link them down below. So check the description box to see uh, what those things are. I do have two things here that I have gone through from Ofra and I know that Ofra is somewhat canceled right now. I'm, I'm interested to see where they will go in the future. Right now, while we are in this period where we are trying to see like where will they go because I do not align with anything that came out from the owner slash former owner. Like I said, this is a weird middle period. Like that goes against everything that I stand for. Everything that I stand for. So I was disgusted when I saw that. But I did go through these two Ofra products before. This is the uh, foaming vitamin C cleanser and the makeup fixer. Like this one, didn't really like this one, so I only used the makeup fixer to spray my brushes to foil my shadows. I did actually like this foaming vitamin C cleanser, but of course I will not be repurchasing at this point. Uh, I am taking a long, hard break from Ofra, and I will see if I can see myself uh, buying or using their products in the future. I never say never, but right now it just does not look good for them, let me tell you. This is my favorite makeup remover. A lot of you have told me that I should try the, the Lancome one. I think it's the Lancome one that you have been um, suggesting to me. I will say I have used the Lancome one from before, and this one is as good but less expensive, at least according to me. I use this sometimes when I have really heavy eye makeup. I will first use this just to remove some of the eye makeup and just, you know, 
move the pigments a bit and then I will go in with a cleansing balm all over my face and then I will rinse my face with something of like a cleanser like this. That's how I do to get rid of everything. This really helps to get rid of um, all the layers of eyeshadow, even like glitter glue, um, eyelash glue, mascara, liquid liner, all of that. And it, this one is a duo one, so it's like a white and then a blue and you mix them. Uh, it's a really good one. It's the L'Oreal Eye and Lip Express Makeup Remover. It's very affordable even here in Sweden so I can only imagine how affordable that can be in other countries because this is not an affordable country. This is the uh, Ole Henriksen uh, Truth Use Daily Cleanser. This is the one I used before the other one from Ofra. I like this one but I don't like it enough to warrant this price. It's nice but I feel like I want something that's slightly more effective at taking off uh, the, like residues from the uh, oil cleanser or like taking off the last piece of makeup and this is a nice cleanser. This is a cleanser that I would recommend for the morning. It smells a bit citrusy without being too invasive. It does smell a bit juicy. Uh, it's a nice refreshing wash. I would recommend this as a morning cleanser instead of a last like step of taking off your makeup because I didn't feel like it was as good with that. I have one of my favorite mascaras ever is here. This is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. Love the Bad Gal Bang. I think this is my second or third of these. Absolutely adore it. I will say that right now I am using, I'm going in between the uh, Sky, Sky, what is it called? This one, the Sky High by Maybelline. These are so similar. Like listen, these are dupes. The formula is so similar. The wands are so similar. They are both like very bendy. Like I, I, I think you can see like they are so bendy both of these. So bendy. Like the lashes look extremely similar after you have used both of these. I mean this is a fraction of the price. So I will say will I repurchase this one? Honestly, I don't know because I feel like this is so similar. So why would I have to repurchase when there is such an affordable alternative on the market? I do love this one though. I really do. And this one comes in a mini as well. And the mini is as good as the big one. But I just get the drugstore version. I'm going to be honest. I love that mascara. But just get the drugstore version. This is the Essence Lash, Lash Princess. This is not my favorite mascara. I have, I have realized that... I want a mascara that really lifts my lashes and holds them and lengthens them. And this does not do that for me. This is more of a voluminizing mascara if you already have long lashes. At least how it works on me. That is my humble opinion. This is the Indie Beauty by Therese Lindgren. Therese Lindgren is one of the biggest YouTubers in Sweden and she has like a skincare line here in Sweden. I don't know if you've ever heard about this at all. This is her Love Your Face uh, Mist. I did not like this mist. I thought... I thought it was too fragranced. I didn't like it. And I like fragrance, but I thought that this was too fragranced. I, again, I used this one to spray my shadows. I did not use this to uh, spray my face. Oh, this is the NCP Essentials Eye Makeup Remover. This is a, I think this is a skincare brand that is between a Swedish actress. I don't remember which one right now. I feel very bad. And a Swedish dermatologist. I could be making this. Okay, sorry. If I'm mistaken I'm so sorry this was a eye makeup remover and this is not as good as this one just putting it out there it's not as good as that one this is the glow recipe papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm this one uh, this also still has this one this one nice glass jar smells amazing works amazing but this one contains plastics Um, I was made aware of that by one of you, I think, and I don't know if I commented back on your post or not, but I went back to check and you're right. This one contains plastics, which makes it very easy to rinse off your face, but I don't want to put plastics in the water. So that's why I never repurchased it. Uh, it is a nice cleansing balm though, but yeah, it contains plastics and I am trying to not do that. Oh my God, there are... Let me see if I can pull out some. There is, there is so much makeup here. Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. This looks like I haven't used it up, but I can see through it. That's so weird. But this was in number three. It was okay. For a hot minute, I really liked it. But then I found other favorites. It is decent, but not a favorite. This is the Nabla Close-Up Concealer. Same here. It looks like I haven't even used it. This is in light ivory. 
decent, not my favorite. This is the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. Uh, some of this has dried in here, but I couldn't get any more of this one out. I think this is a decent glitter primer. If you're looking for a glitter primer and you're balling on a budget, the e.l.f. one is definitely decent. Here is, oh my god, this is one of my favorite mascaras, the Bad Gal Bang, and this one, the More Mascara by Wee. Mmm. This one is the blackest, most dramatic mascara ever. It really lifts your lashes and lengthens them and still gives them a little bit of volume and extreme black lashes that makes them look so dramatic. This is the this is the mascara I'm using when I really want my lashes to be impactful and dramatic when I'm not using lashes. This is this is one of the few mascaras, like these and then also the Sky High, mascaras that I can use and I when I'm not using lashes. Really, really like this. We Makeup is an Italian indie brand. I will link it down below. It is an incredible mascara. I a million percent recommend it. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. I had mine in Fair. This is way too light for me, as you probably can see. This is a decent concealer. It is a full coverage concealer at the drugstore. It's decent. I don't really like this can't stop, won't stop line. Um, I can't, this, this concealer is okay. This concealer is okay. I prefer the Born to Glow concealer, but that is a medium coverage and this is a full coverage. So if you're looking for full coverage concealer at the drugstore, this is decent. It is a little bit drying. It's not my favorite, but it's not horrible either. Here's mascara. This, this is so fun because this mascara is the NYX worth the hype. It's not worth the hype. I'm not even sure it got hype. It's not... No, I don't like it. This is the Brow Artist Plumper by L'Oreal. This is a really, really good brow fixing wax thing. It's got one of these... Oh my god, I have so much things in my hands. It's got one of these really long hairs, one of these like small ones, and there was so much product in this one. I used this for a really long time. This was a great product, but they discontinued it. But if you find like a brow gel or mascara from L'Oreal, I'm sure it's the same formula because that was a really good formula. I would think that they would just release something similar to that, but a smaller packaging because there was a lot of product in that one. This is the eyeshadow base primer by Sigma. I have mine in Ignite. You see this one is all the way down. I even tried to scrape some of this out. This is one of my favorite primers for eyeshadow. This is perfect if you have a little bit more oily lids and you feel like some primers crease on you because this will dry down. Not that it dries down powdery, but this one if you just put this on, let it dry down a little bit and pat out the creases, it will set on itself so it will not even crease if you choose to not put an eyeshadow over. This also comes in color, so this is a base and eyeshadow stick, so you can use this as an eyeshadow stick. Make, does this make sense? Like, this comes in other colors that you can use as an eyeshadow stick and it doesn't crease. So if you have problems with eyeshadow creasing, I would definitely recommend you checking this one out. I have it in Ignite, like I said, yeah, I was gonna check so I don't lie to you. There is one that is, uh, this this one is like a beige yellow undertone. There is one that is a light with a pink undertone and they also have darker shades for a darker complexion. So there are different colors, but yeah, check the different colors. I really like that primer. I think it is, like I said, one of my favorite primers and you just paint it on with a stick and it's so easy to blend out and it's budge proof and I just love it. This is the Bushy Brow by Lime Crime. I had mine in Baby Brown. It's one of those brush tip applicators. I use it to draw in hairs in my brows. I recently switched to the NYX, um, what is it called? Wait, let me check. Uh, I had the NYX, that's not the one. NYX Lift and Snatch, same thing, but more affordable. How much product is in this one? This one has 0 0.3 fluid ounces, and this one had 0 .3. 0 0.0236. That is so little product. I'm almost ashamed. Like, I have secondhand embarrassment for Lime Crime for that incredibly low amount of product. Get the next one. NYX, the NYX one is one of the best releases this year. Don't sleep on that product. It's absolutely stunning. This one looks like... trash. <laughs> it is trash, but this this one really lives up to that name. This is the House of Lashes uh, Eyelash Adhesive Glue. This one is latex free, and if you are like me, latex intolerant, like I cannot, latex makes my eye cry uh, and tear up and just the lashes fall off, I would definitely recommend the House of Lashes one. It's a really nice one. I also have two pairs of lashes here. Apparently I used up, 
yeah, okay, uh, these broke. These are Iconic Lights and Iconic Lux. The Iconic series by House of Lashes is one of my favorite uh, lash series ever. I can't believe, oh my god, I'm trying to be comfortable, it's so warm here. I can't believe how long I've been using that series and like you could see, it's still a favorite. This is, oh, I have a couple of powders here. This is the NYX High Glass. I used it up. I have my medium. This is wonderful. I think they are discontinuing this series. If you wanted to try it, I would recommend you go out and buy it. I already bought a backup. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. Well, it used to be. <laughs> this is my favorite powder. I already bought a backup and I'm already wearing the backup today. Two of my favorite holy grail products. Do not sleep on these. They are absolutely stunning. I also used up a... Um, is this a deluxe sample? of the Professional by Benefit. This is okay. I used up this sample just to see if I, this is something that I really wanted, but I'll be honest, I don't really have that much problems with like filling in pores, or maybe I do, but it's just not something that bothers me, so I don't really use primers. I don't really use primers. I have no opinions. I, I just, I don't care. It's the same with this one. This is the anti-aging primer. I can't... I can't see a different with, difference with primers. I'm sure there is a difference, I just can't see it. Uh, these are House of Lashes Eyelash Glue. More, two more, I've used up. This one, I've, this is one of the things that I have decluttered. This is the Naked Skin. Do you remember how old this is? This one is just half through, but it's separated and it's old, so I decided to like declutter it because this is so old. This is so old. I had mine in light warm. It's a nice concealer, but this is old. It's discontinued, it's old. Favorite, favorite uh, like brow gel for my brows is actually the one from Colourpop. This is the Brow Boss Gel. I used to buy mine in light brown. I have this and I have bought a backup, but right now I'm actually using one from, I think it's from Maybelline, and I'm just, I started using it and I quite like it, so I'm just using it through, but then I'm gonna go back and use the Colourpop ones because this is actually my favorite. It gives color and volume and it really lifts my brows and keeps them up all day. For me, they work wonders and they're so affordable. I think this is my second one and the third one I have in my, in my drawer here. Uh, this one I'm disc uh, discontinuing, yeah. I'm discontinuing this one. <laughs> this is the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner. I have mine in Punch. This is just dried up. It's dried up, so I'm getting rid of them. It's weird with these cream gel liners. Some of them are just so good, like the best ones ever. Like Prance. Prance is wonderful. And then some of these, they just dry up, and I'm like, I don't understand. They're so inconsistent, and that just makes me sad. Makes me sad. This is the Kush Fiber Brow Gel by Milk Makeup. I had mine in MJ. Why is there hairs everywhere? This is good, but it's not as good as the Colourpop one, but it's like twice the price. So personally, go with the Colourpop one. This is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. This is the one that I used to use all the time before I discovered this one, but then I discovered the next one that is like twice the product for half the price. So these, these are both really nice and they both do what they say they're gonna do but they're just expensive for what they are. So I've just moved on. Oh, this is so disgusting. This is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. This is nice, but personally I realized that I like a cleansing balm that you like take a piece out of instead of this because I go through these balms, like these oils with pumps, I go through them too fast. I just, I end up using too much and I just go through them too fast. And when there's some, something expensive like this, like Tatcha one, no. I can't do that to myself. Okay, I have I have three more things. Three more things. This is the... Uh, look at this. This is the Butter Bronzer. Um, it is... It's... This one has been through a lot. Uh, I used this just the other day. And I was trying to like go through and really pick up with my brush. Because I only had some left on the edges. And um, everything just fell out. So I technically still had some uses left of this one, but I was using it and it just fell apart and I was like, no, no, we're moving on. I had mine in the shade bronzer because I think it comes in more colors. This was a nice bronzer. It was really good for my complexion. I hated the packaging and I hated um, the scent. I know a lot of people, like this still smells of that. 
for me, this isn't my favorite scent, but I know for a lot of people it is. But for me, I actually don't like this scent, so I am not going to be repurchasing that because I don't like the scent. This is the eyeshadow uh, primer potion in Eden uh, by Urban Decay. <sighs> I don't like this. Uh, I think it is a little too heavy. Even when I use too little, I feel like too little. Even when I use as little as I'm supposed to use, I feel like it's too heavy on my lids. I feel like it makes my lids look a bit textured and I also don't think that eyeshadow blend the best on top of it. This isn't my favorite eyeshadow primer formula. I know for some people this is the end all be all. For me it is, it's okay. In a pinch, I would use it, but I won't be repurchasing. And the last product here is the uh, KVD Tattoo Liner. I still think that this is my favorite eyeliner formula. But I recently bought, I recently bought the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Waterproof Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. Wow! I bought this one on your recommendation, and I actually like it just as much. This is a really nice metal packaging. This one is 0.03 fluid ounces, and this one is. 0.0119 fluid ounces. So there's a lot more product in this one with the same great applicator. This is waterproof and it's just less money. And so personally, if you were looking for a good uh, eyeliner, I would recommend you to get the Physicians Formula instead because I think that that is more bang for your buck and it's a similar formula and a similar applicator and if you like a brush tip applicator for your liner I actually do recommend that one. I think it's really good. It is the one that I'm using right now even though I will say lately I have not been that much into liquid liners. I am literally sweating so much it is crazy. Like I am <laughs> I am moist it is so warm in Sweden but I hope you enjoyed these rapid fire reviews of the things that I have gone through, repurchased or decluttered from my collection lately. Let me know some of the things that you have repurchased lately. Is there something that you just cannot live without in your collection? Is there something that you're like, oh my god, I need to have it again? For me, my end all be all is the self tanner. I can't be without it. It is my favorite. I keep using it. I use it once a week. Um, I will continue to repurchase it because it is uh, the bee's knees. Thank you so much for being here. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye!